India is an enormous and diverse country. Home to some of the world's most ancient surviving civilizations, India is vast and varied in terms of people, language, and cultural traditions. Bordered by seven different countries, it means that there are many different sides of the country. More than 20 official languages, multiple religions, and various cuisines exist within India's borders. India is the world's largest democracy, and according to UN estimates, its population is expected to overtake China in 2028 to become the world's most populous nation. As a rising economic powerhouse and nuclear arms state, India has emerged as an important regional power, but it is also tackling huge social, environmental, and educational problems. Speaking about education, the educational system in India dates back to the Vedic period, where in ancient time, India had a curricula system of education in which anyone who wished to study went to a teacher's house and requested to be taught. The guru taught everything the child wanted to learn, from Sanskrit to the holy scriptures and from mathematics to metaphysics. However, this system has gradually changed because of the British colonization and followed a curriculum confined to subjects such as mathematics, science, and at present, the school system in India has four levels. Lower primary age 6 to 10, upper primary 11 to 12, and high ages 30 to 15, and higher secondary 17 to 18. The lower primary school is divided into five standards, which is regarded as foundational stage divided into two parts. That is, three years of Anganwadi or preschool, plus two years in primary school in grades 1 to 2, both together covering ages 3 to 8. Next is the upper primary school, labeled as preparatory stage from grades 3 to 5, covering ages 8 to 11. Next to it is high school or the middle stage from grades 6 to 8, covering ages 11 to 14. Then a transition to a higher secondary or secondary stage from grades 9 to 12 in two phases. An example is 9 and 10 in the first and 11 and 12 in the second, covering ages 14 to 18 years old. Students will have increased flexibility and choice of subjects so that they choose their own paths according to their talents and interests. There will be no rigid separations between arts and sciences, between curricular and extracurricular activities, between vocational and academic streams. The objective is to give equal emphasis on all subjects, science, social sciences, arts, languages, sports, and mathematics, with integration of vocational and academic streams in school. There is no single nationwide language of instruction in the Indian school system because of the country's linguistic diversity. While Hindi and English are official languages in India, instruction in schools is conducted in a variety of local languages. India's constitution recognizes 21 major languages in addition to the literary language Sanskrit. There are at least 47 different languages used in schools throughout India. In the small multilingual state of Nagaland, for example, 17 different languages are used in elementary education. In just linguistic, cultural, ethnic, and religious diversity is extreme and widespread. Heterogeneity and multilingualism is the current product. After the emergence of British University India, the whole picture of education was altered and the language policy. Though at the initial stage of their educational system, they had given regard to vernacular languages. They gradually started giving focus only to English. The Constitution offers many provisions regarding with language. Articles 343 to 351 of Part 17 and the 8th Schedule of the Constitution of India deal with issues of the languages of the country. Article 343, the official language of the Union shall be Hindi and the Pinagar school. English can be used for official purposes as the language of vital opportunities and international contact. On Article 345, official communication between states and unions should be the official language of the Union, such as Hindi. 
Article 348, English can be used for all legal purposes such as for bills, procedures of court, and many more. On Article 350, states should provide adequate facilities for instruction in the mother tongue at the primary stage of education to children belonging to linguistic minority groups. On Article 351, states should take necessary steps to promote and spread Hindi as a national link language. In 1952, Motelier Commission recommended three language formula which stated that mother tongue should be taught at primary stage and English and Hindi should be introduced later. In 1966, Cottery Commission put forth a revised or modified three language formula which stated that along with mother tongue English and Hindi should be taught at non-Hindi states while instead of Hindi, any other modern South Indian language should be taught at Hindi speaking states. Merits of three language formula. One, it offers multilingual capacity. Two, it facilitates learning of national language. Three, it facilitates learning of international language. Four, it promotes national integration. Learning of mother tongue helps in cultural preservation. Five, learning of English provides global identity. Learning of Hindi widens opportunities. Six, learning of mother tongue facilitates expression of ideas. The merits of three language formula. First, it often creates administrative confusion. Second, the South Indian people feel that Hindi is imposed on them. Third, it often becomes a burden for children to learn three languages together before mastering the mother tongue. In 1965, Hindi became an official language and English retained the status of associate official language. Around the same time, arrangements fell in place to follow the three-language formula in education as recommended by the Central Advisory Board of Education. With some modifications, the medium of instruction for children during the first 10 years of education, or primary and secondary, is their mother tongue or an official state language. In addition, pupils receive Six years of minimum education in Hindi or English introduced as a fifth to seventh grade and three years of education in another modern Indian or foreign language introduced in eighth to tenth grade. David Latin has summarized in just linguistic settlement as three plus or minus one. Hindi and English preoccupy a special position as all Indian languages. The minus one in Latin's formula refers to those citizens for whom Hindi is their mother tongue, limiting their need to learn languages to just English and another Indian language. Conversely, the plus one refers to citizens who neither speak Hindi nor the regional or state language as their mother tongue. These linguistic minorities therefore need to learn Hindi, English, and the language of the state in which they reside in addition to their mother tongue, which may or may not be the official language of a different Indian state. Overall, this linguistic compromise appears to have worked reasonably well. It almost made language a non-issue at the national level and appears to have struck a balance between accommodation by allowing the promotion of some regional languages in the state and integration by retaining English as an important connecting language whilst recognizing a special role for Hindi and the need for the constitutional protection of linguistic minorities. With that all said, India is just like any other country where education is important. Although our systems are different, we all have one thing in mind and that is to educate our people. With the help of the geographical location of each state or region, each school can assess their own calendar of events and their systems. Having the larger number of distinct languages is also a factor that contributes India's school system. With all the information gathered, we have concluded that with the help of education, we can have a thriving society where all are mindful and all are educated.